tutorials. On this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use our confetti overlays. Um, in our um, online store, we have these Urban Rhino Photoshop overlays, um, several different collections, and one of them contains some different confetti overlays. So um, I'm going to show you how to use those or a couple of them on this photo that I have here. Um, my daughter and nephew as Poppy and Branch from the Trolls movie. So um, I've already edited the picture um, and now I'm ready to put the finishing touches which would be putting, I just want it to look like confetti. I feel like in that movie there's a lot of confetti and glitter. Um, so we're going to just, you know, sprinkle it around them. Um, so I want to go into my folder. So I'm going to go to Place Embedded and I want to select my folder that has the overlays. So if you were to purchase these and download them, this is the collection that you would get here. There are 34 different overlays. Um, when you place them, so when I hover over one of them, you can see it's a PNG file. So these will go right over top of your picture and you won't have to set it to screen. Um, some of the overlays that I create, I make them where you have to set it to screen. Um, some work better as a PNG file and others work better as um, a JPEG that you set to screen with a black background. Um, I'm creating some jewel overlays and those will most likely be on a transparent background as well. So um, I'm going to just go through and, and glance at these and pick ones that I think would work. I want one, so like these are kind of more solid yellowy gold. Um, I like the kind of rainbow colors. Some are going to be out of focus. Others will be more in focus. So I could put that there. And it also kind of depends on how uh, how f large you want the overlay. So like each little piece of confetti, you know, if I want them this big or if I want them to be small, um, smaller than that. So I have another one that I placed on here before like this. So see how little those are and those are ones that are more out of focus. So it just depends, you know, with the look that you're going for. Um, let me try another one here. Place. And these ones that are um, vertical, if I wanted to use one of those, so for instance this one. I can place it on there and just rotate it 90 degrees best I can or I guess I could type in 90 up here it's close enough and pull that out to where I have it <clears throat> to where I want it so once I would put these on and it looks like 17 is the one that I went with I usually like to mess with these ahead of time before doing the tutorial so you're not sitting there watching me go through them forever. Um, so this is the one that I chose. And I'm just going to kind of pull it to where I think it looks best. Obviously, yes, it is covering them right now. Okay, I think that's good. Um, so once I have that layer placed. I'm going to create a layer mask. So I'm going to delete out these other two that I'm not using. Create a layer mask and I just want to brush it off completely off of them. I've tried in the past certain things that <clears throat> it works okay to have you know a few pieces um, overlapping them but usually I have found it, it, lo it looks more distracting than um, anything so you shall go through delete it completely off of them um, sometimes if it's a bokeh overlay or snow I may have it a little bit kind of come over top of their clothes or their hair um, I don't really like it to cover their faces at all okay I think I got most of it off of them and then from here, I'm going to lower my opacity of my brush. And I'm going to kind of just go over the, the ones that are kind of around them a little bit. I really want the focus to be on them and not on the confetti. So I'm kind of just fading those out a bit. 
that one is kind of stuck in her hair and I don't like that and you can mess with this you know however much so once I went through and did this um, took off what I didn't want and I believe I placed maybe a second overlay this is what I ended up with yeah I do have two there together so you can see I've kept it off of them there's a little bit down here um, you know something else you could do is if you wanted this to look you know really like it's a flat surface the floor you could place some of these on the floor you'd want to be careful though because then you start to get into needing needing to create shadows um, that way it doesn't look like it's just floating you would want it to look like it's actually laying there um, but that should be it for this particular tutorial and how to place an overlay um, the confetti ones I have several other tutorials in this collection um, featuring the leaf overlays um, spider web overlays and several others so please make sure you check those out if you're interested and stay tuned right after this for the speed edit of the trolls picture that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.